Good morning, good afternoon, good evening, ladies and gentlemen. Scott Noe here, Noe Lawn Care. Whenever you're watching, we greatly, greatly appreciate it. There's a big old booger on that tire. That is a plug. And I have more plugs here. You're probably wondering why. That is an old plug and it is leaking through the plug. So we're gonna yank that out first thing, put us a new one in. Hopefully that's gonna stick. I've got my oil and my filter here. We are gonna do the 200 mile, or excuse me, <laughs> 200 hour oil change on this guy. And I figured we got the same oil we got the push mower out. Let's go ahead and do that oil change too. Why not? But first, 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 big, big important news. We are now over 1,000 subscribers. No We Lawn Care YouTube channel is over 1,000 subscribers. We can't thank you guys enough. We're looking to build this channel as big as it can go, and this is just the next step. So again, thank you, thank you, thank you. And let's get to working on this guy. I've already got a plug ready. It's already been reamed. Um, I'm gonna try to do it quick because I do not have a great air pump. It's one of those uh, battery charging air pump light such and such, but yeah. Oh, this is gonna be fun. There we go. Come on. Well, you can't really hear it, but it's still leaking a little bit. Let's put uh, <laughs> let's put two plugs in it, and we're gonna be. We're going to be definitely uh, pumping this guy back up. Give me one second. All right. That didn't work. So let's try to ream it out a little bit more. And we got two plugs this time. All right. Let's pump it up and see if that works. All right, uh, doesn't look like it's leaking yet. Doesn't sound like it, so let's get on with the oil change and see if it drops any. All right, let's see how good I am. nowhere guys oh I 
missed it. Oh, oh well. Okay, let's let that drain and let's get to the filter while that's draining. I'm smart now. I'm gonna have an oil filter wrench because no matter how tight you put it on, that bad boy, she gets some torque on her and you almost have to break a flathead to get it off. Pretty yellow one this time. All right, I'm not gonna do nothing too crazy, just a little snug because my hands are slippery. Beautiful. Let's add some oil. All right. We got the drain plug back on. We got the new pretty little yellow oil filter on. And now all we got is uh, two quarts, two full quarts of Kohler. What we got, 1030 synthetic blend. Same thing we've always used and that's just what our dealer, our dealer recommends and it's a Kohler engine. So why not? Uh, I'm not gonna bore you with that. You know how to put oil in. Let's uh, let's put these two quarts in, and then let's double check. Uh, yeah, double check uh, levels, and then we'll fire it up. All right, two quarts in. I may or may not have made a mess, but there it is, just as pretty, pretty as can be. Uh, another thing. I'm going to do, of course, I'll go ahead and grease up the front wheels, um, get her a good, I don't know if I'll wash it again, but give it a good blow off, good clean up, and we're going to put it up on the trailer and put some blades on it. Okay. over there sorry oh still not knock you over. some freshy freshies.
got her, boys and girls. We got her. Oh, now let's go play with that Honda. All right, uh, Honda GCV 170. I'm guessing that's the motor. Uh, I don't really know a lot about this. HRN 216, maybe that's the platform. And then the GCV 170 is the mower, or excuse me, motor. Either way, uh, she's dark for sure. Not really, uh, not really anything crazy whenever you try to do an oil change on this guy. Basically, just tipping her over until she starts spewing. Oh, oh, stay right there, big girl. Here we go. Let her drain out for a little bit and then, uh, We'll add some more oil. Calls for 0 0.42 quarts. So a little bit under half a quart. I've got a used, or well, uh, probably about 0.35 quarts right here. So we'll, oh, 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 making a mess, making a mess. We'll dump that check it and add a little bit more but like I say 0. 0.42 quarts so uh, just under half a quart you always want to double check your oil levels not too much not too little all right common mistake in fact one that I just about made this little sticker here tells you when you check your oil you just want to drop it in you don't want to screw it all the way down and then unscrew it, that'll give you an inaccurate reading. So when you're checking your oil, you just wanna drop the dipstick in, let it sit for a second, pull it back out and check it. You do not want to twist it in until you are ready to shut it. And we are ready, we are done. Uh, let's see how it's happening. Just plain beautiful. It didn't blow up, so that is a very good thing. Let's check this air filter while we're at it. Good thing we are. I'd say she's a little dirty. All right, let's blow this out. And while I'm at it, I'm gonna check the air filter on the zero turn. But we greatly appreciate you watching. Oil change, I don't even know, obviously I have no clue how many hours this thing is. But uh, usually when we do a, a rider, or every other time we do a rider, we'll do the, the push mower just because it's, it's a little easier for us, but as always, we appreciate you watching. We'll catch you in the next one.